Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today's lesson is about circular measure. Angles can be represented using two. You can either represent angle using degree, which is we always do. And then there, there's another way, which is using radian. So for the first subtopic, we're going to learn how to convert from radian to degree and degree to radian. So to convert from degree to radian, so you have to understand that degree is something big and radian is something small. So you want to convert something big becomes small. So you have to times by and then divide by 180. So again, to convert degree to radian, you times pi divided by 180. For example, if you have you want to convert 90 degrees to radian. So the way to do it is to times pi and then divide by 180. So we times pi and over 180. So you will get pi over 2 radian. Okay, if you want to convert from radian to degree, you have to reverse the fraction. So let's say you have, example, you have 2 pi radian. You want to convert to degree. So how supposed to how are we supposed to do that? So you have to flip the sign. So radian to degree. So the way to do it is to times 180 and divide by pi. So to get the value in degree, so you write 2 pi and then you times 180 and then you divide by pi. So the answer will be you simplify, you cancel all these two and then you have 360, 360 degrees. Bear in mind, 1 minute is equivalent to 60 minutes, 1 degree is equivalent to 60 minutes. So let's say sometimes the question gives you example, if you have 30 degree and then uh, 30 minutes so how are we supposed to convert from minute to degree it's very simple so you divide by 60 so you have 30 and then plus 30 divided by 60 gives you 0 0.5 so it gives you 30.50 degree next will be the arc length imagine this is a sector of a circle where this is the center of your circle O so from O to this um, part of the circumference this is what we call a radius which is represented by R so to find arc length so arc length should be the outside length of your sector so this is your arc length the symbol that we use to represent arc length will be S so there are formula there's a one formula that relates S, R and um, I've got to label this theta angle, so theta should be inside. There is an angle here which we call theta. So this is radius. I'm gonna write radius. So there is one sim formula that relates S, R, and theta. So the formula is very simple. The formula goes like this: S equals to R theta. But you have to bear in mind that your theta should always and must be in radian. So if your theta in degree, you have to convert to radian. So this is important to have theta in radian. So S, the arc length, which is S equals to R theta. Just a recall, uh, trigonometry. If I label this side, which is theta, and this is a 90 degree angle. So the closest length to your theta will be adjacent. And then the opposite will be opposite. So the longer side of your triangle will be hypotenuse. So you have to remember so katsua. If you want to find sine, it's opposite over hypotenuse. And then if you want to find cos, so it's adjacent over hypotenuse. And then lastly, when you want to find tangent, simply opposite over adjacent. So this is just a recap because some questions you have to use this concept to find the length of your radius or some, some, some hidden length in your question. So you have to apply this trigonometry concept. Last but not least, we're going to talk about area. There are three types of area. Area of sector, which is this the bigger one. The area of triangle, which is this triangle, and then the area of segment, which is this small part. So the area of sector is given by 1 over 2 
R squared theta. So be careful, theta should always be in radian. So when you comp when you substitute in the value of theta here, theta here should be always in radian. So let me label your diagram. This is your theta, this is your radius. So to find the area of triangle, it's simply 1 over 2. R square, because uh, we based on uh, solution of triangles formula. So it's AB sine theta. So we're going to write, because AB will be the same, because R times R gives you R square. So it's 1 over 2 R square sine theta. So in here, when you substitute theta in radian, your calculator must be in radian mode. So to find, lastly, to find the area of segment, which is this small area, this sector area minus the triangle. So what we have is equals to 1 over 2 R square theta minus 1 over 2 R square sine theta. If you factorize, you would have 1 over 2 R square. It's theta minus sine theta. So this is the formula to find the area of segment. This is an example. You got a sector and then this is uh, 60 degrees given. The length of this chord is 12 cm. You got to find the radius. To find the radius, first you have to divide your triangle into half because you need this 90 degree angle. So if you divide by half, you got 90 degree here. So the angle will be 30 degree here. And then here, because it's 12 cm now, you got only 6 cm. By applying trigonometry concept, you want to find the radius. So what is this? Opposite and hypotenuse. So, so opposite O, oh, so it should be sin 30 equals to. Opposite will be 6 cm and hypotenuse will be your radius. So you cross multiply and then you divide. So you have 6 divided by sin 30 will give you 12 cm. So this is the answer for the first part to find the radius. Second part is to find the perimeter of the shaded region. Uh, there are two parts. First, the 12 is already given, so you need to find the arc length. So you find S, which is equal to R theta. So the radius now is 12. Your theta is now 60 degree, but like I said before, theta should always be in radians, so you have to convert to radians, so you times pi divided by 180 degree. Usually pi will be 3.142. This is the standard value in SVM. So we're gonna do we're gonna use this value. So 12 times 16. Then times 3.142 divided by 180 gives you 12.568. So the answer for sec uh, wait, this is only the uh, length. So if you want to find perimeter, you have to add both length, which is 12 plus 12.568 cm. So the answer will be 24.568 cm. Okay, lastly, you want to find the area of segment, which is the shaded region. So to find the area of segment, we have to use the formula of area of sector minus area of triangle. So we, we're going to have 1 over 2 R square theta minus 1 over 2 R square sine theta. Okay, now we're going to use the value. So the R will be 12, so 12 square. The theta here should be in radian, so 60 times 3.042 divided by 180 will give you 1.047 radian and then minus 1 over 2, radius 12 square and then sine 60. Uh, just press your calculator. Okay, be careful, our sine is in degree, uh, the 60 is in degree, so our calculator should be in degree mode. So we're going to do now, so 0 0.5 times radius square, which is 12 square, and then 1.047 minus sine 60. So the answer will be 13.03 cm square. So this is the final answer, and this is also the final answer for the second part. So can you copy all the notes in your book, um, in any of the books, and then uh, I'm going to give you the exercise in the description below. So, yeah. I see you in the class. Goodbye.